So, I know, dead hang, sounds kinda boring in theory, and maybe it doesn't sound all that exciting. But the truth is that there are a lot of benefits to dead hangs from a pull-up bar, and it's probably worth your time. What is a dead hang? A dead hang is an exercise you can easily do from a chin-up bar. It's a way to strengthen your shoulders and back. It requires no repetitions, only hangs from the bar like a dead weight for about 20 to 30 seconds at a time. From my experience, the standard dead hang is a simple but effective exercise. It's also very versatile, with variations such as the dead hang from below knee level or from overhead to make it easier or more challenging. But all require you only to hold the hanging position for a certain amount of time. Let's find out the 7 benefits of hanging a bar daily. From boosting mobility to strength, muscle gains and elongation, this exercise has a lot going for it. Here's what you can expect from doing this exercise. Number 1 is Spinal Decompression. Modern day lifestyles can deprive our spine of the natural curves it needs to stay healthy. Extended periods of sitting, carrying heavy objects and also sleeping in certain positions can compress our spine in the dead hang position, one can create space for, for their back to move in between the joints and discs. This relieves a lot of pain and tension. Number 2 is Grip Strength. Grip strength is important for lots of reasons, but it's also hard to improve. A lot of people use band-aid fixes, such as gloves and straps, but the one guaranteed way to increase your grip strength is by holding onto a bar whilst hanging dead. It's effective because you get a complete grip workout. Dead hangs are a prime way to increase grip strength. Having good grip strength is important for healthy performance on a number of exercises, such as pull-ups, rows, deadlifts and variation of levers. Number 3 is Shoulder Joint Range of Motion. Hanging in this position for a few seconds will do wonders for your shoulder health, by relaxing the muscles and helping to improve their mobility. Many of us are strength and size oriented. As a result of this exercise, you will notice that your range of motion increases. This improvement in mobility not only permits you to comfortably perform overhead movements, overhead squats, snatches and presses, but also prevents shoulder injury. Number 4 is Rotator Cuff Strengthening and Shoulder Injury Repair. There have been a lot of cases of people recovering from shoulder injuries, back pain and other ailments, specifically through the rotator cuff, by simply performing the dead hang. A doctor called Kirsch has found that humans aren't moving their shoulders in the ways they are meant to, which leaves us both weak and injured. He discusses this in his book, Shoulder Pain, The Solution and Prevention. The dead hang experiment showed results of 90 cures and no cases of broken bones. Number 5 is Forearm Gains. Starting your workout routine with forearm exercises is a great idea. Dead hangs are one of the most effective exercises for building strength in your forearms and wrists. Another good thing about them is that they can also help you improve your grip strength, endurance and develop muscle size. Dead hangs are more demanding than forearm curls and require extended periods of time. When done consistently, they can lead to forearm gains. Number 6 is Latissimus Dorsi Lengthening. Doing a dead hang will help stretch your lats muscle. The muscles in your back and shoulders will feel much more stretched out than ever before because of the position you're hanging from. The lats in the dead hang position will become lengthened which leads to your muscles staying fluid and healthy. If you are able to focus on those muscles during training, this will be reflected in both push and pull exercises where the lats are mostly responsible for their work. Number 7 is Posture Correction. Lastly, Dead hangs are great for correcting your posture. Mentioned in other points above is how they can help strengthen, decompress and mobilize the upper body. All of these things are contributors to good posture. To achieve the perfect dead hang, there are certain techniques that are necessary. For example, 
The height of your bar has to be suitable, not too high, and you need to find a place to do it. Barbells or pull-up bars on high racks will work as well. If you want to comfortably reach the bar from a bench, it is a good idea to stand on the bench. Jumping up with force will not help you and could even result in injury. Grip the bar with an overhand grip, away from you, so that your hands are shoulder width apart. Then move your feet off the bench or steps, keeping your arms straight. Relax and release to create a deadweight, passive hanging position. Hold for 30 seconds at a time before repeating. Tips for doing dead hang exercise, and what not to do. Even though the dead hang is an easy exercise to get right, there are still a few common mistakes that people often make. Here are some tips on how to avoid these mistakes so you can ensure your workout is as effective as possible. Your arms should be straight as a board, hence, dead hang. Bending your elbows means you are doing it wrong. Tension in the back of your shoulder should not be maintained during this exercise. You want to completely relax and release tension to allow this exercise to work correctly. This coincides with the first point, if you're bending your arms, chances are that you are engaging your lats too. Make sure you're expressing the dead hang properly. If your body is moving, then it can't be called a dead hang. Remember, dead means without active thoughts or feelings. Don't hold your breath. As with any exercise, breathing assists and complements the movement. Apart from aiding blood flow, concentrated breathing will allow your body to fully relax into the hang. What muscles does a dead hang strengthen? There are lots of variations of the dead hang and the muscles work depend on the version of the exercise you do. In terms of the standard dead hang, it primarily strengthens your hand and wrist flexors, your forearm muscles, your shoulders, specifically your rotator cuffs, and your core stabilizers. Do dead hangs help pull-ups? A dead hang is an exercise that is commonly used to condition and progress people to being able to do a pull-up. Why? Because it increases your grip strength as well as your shoulder and core stability. Not only does it increase strength and stability, but it aids mobility. And a lack of mobility is one of the biggest hindrances of strength. How can I improve my dead hang? by doing it sensibly and consistently. Practice the dead hang for manageable amounts of time. What is a good dead hang time to aim for? This depends on your personal stamina. Hanging is a strenuous exercise. Doing it for 30 seconds and 3 to 4 sessions a day is enough. Too much of anything isn't good, so don't overdo it. 